One day after hearing the results of the study of Aaron Hernandez's brain, one local professor says he may have the key to preventing repeated sports related head trauma. Our Brittany Schaefer spoke with him today and has more. Brittany. Olivia Song by G is researching how injuries affect neural pathways in specific areas of the brain. G says there are several studies that look at the brain as a whole, but he's focusing on the deep tissue. It was the most severe case they had ever seen for someone of Aaron's age. Uh, I'm very surprised, yeah, it's given the young age. It's a sad story. A study of Aaron Hernandez's brain comes back with a diagnosis of stage 3 CTE. The disease caused by repeated head trauma is being found more and more in football players. Worcester Polytechnic Institute professor Song Bai Ji is working on new technology to prevent sports-related injuries. I think this is a very meaningful research. It really makes some difference in, in people's lives. G is using neuroimaging and computer modeling to create better ways to quickly diagnose concussions in contact sports. On the field, and when someone's head is hit, then we can quickly retrieve those strain maps. And over time, you know, hopefully over time, we can accumulate all those strain maps, combine them to see whether we can have a better chance of detecting injury. I was shocked. I, I did not think that uh, he could be as functional as he was with the amount of damage that they said that he had. There's absolutely uh, a need for more medical research. In G's research, he says the white matter deep within the brain is more vulnerable and could be a better indicator of an injury. It's a different research um, perspective, I say. Instead of allowing him or her continue to play, we just remove him or her off the field for some recovery. Hopefully that could uh, uh, reduce or even eliminate the CT problem for these athletes. Now, G says he still has much more work to do, but hopes to soon test athletes using an impact censored helmet. Olivia. All right, Brittany, thank you.